UFO investigator Anthony Sanchez published a transcript of his recorded discussion with a retired U.S. Air Force colonel about what he called tall, pale humanoids from one of the planets in one of two solar systems orbiting Zeta Reticuli 1 and 2, which is a binary star system about 39 light years from Earth. It's the one that the famous Betty and Barney Hill abduction case that Betty drew under hypnosis, a system of trade routes that involved a place where it was pointed out to her where our sun is, where Zeta Reticuli 1 and 2 have trade routes with other stars in that system. Anthony Sanchez, in his recorded transcript with the U.S. Air Force colonel, talks about progenitors, that is the word, that the progenitors were and are a tall, some kind of humanoid intelligence that would be the root source of the humanoids in this solar system. The fact that there was some kind of a war in Zeta Reticuli 1 and 2 a million or more years ago and that it was between the tall, pale, humanoid progenitors and another life form, gray humanoids, and that these two life forms are somehow distributed in this double binary star system of Zeta Reticuli 1 and 2, and that what the war was about, according to the U.S. Air Force colonel, is that the tall, pale humanoids we're secretly going to the gray humanoid planet, harvesting genetic material, going back to their planet in the Zeta Reticuli 1 and 2 system, creating androids, hybrids, a variety of slave labor from the genetic material that the tall humanoids were harvesting from the short gray planets. And this word progenitors, meaning the original root race behind what's in this solar system, involved the idea that whatever the history is that would explain ancient artifacts on Mars, on the Moon, on Earth, and perhaps other bodies in our solar system, it's all attributed in the U.S. Air Force Colonel's story to these progenitors from Zeta Reticuli 1 and 2, and that they were involved in constructions on Mars, on the backside of the moon, the interior of the moon, on our Earth, and probably other places even yet in our solar system that we have not been told anything about publicly or by whistleblowers. The colonel says, according to the greys, the humanoids that got into the war with the tall, pale humanoids, to their historical writings, they tell us that the progenitor race came from another star system, Sirius, and that they were chased from there, again by these gray beings, and that they ended up on Mars. Mars was the closest to their own planet from the Zeta Reticuli 1 and 2 system. Mars was the original place inhabited by them in our solar system, meaning they went to Mars first, not to Earth first. But choosing Mars proved to be a major miscalculation. There was a cataclysmic event, according to the Air Force colonel, an asteroid hit that exterminated some or most of the progenitors. But we know that John Brandenburg, who is a nuclear physicist, that he wrote a 2015 book entitled Death on Mars, The Discovery of a Planetary Nuclear Massacre. And this is about the presence of Xenon-129 in the atmosphere of Mars, which has led to John Brandenburg's doing even a presentation at a NASA conference about enough Xenon-129 in the Martian atmosphere to support the John Brandenburg hypothesis that there were two hydrogen bombs that exploded in the Northern Hemisphere and that there was a compression wave that would have annihilated cities and life in that Cydonia region where there is the big head 
the big Sidonia Pyramid and other structures that are referred to as the Sidonia City. John Brandenburg thinks that this explosion of bombs in the Northern Hemisphere could go back a million years. The timeline is not clear. But if he is right, this might explain what whistleblowers have been telling me for the past approximately 18 months, that our government knows from its own secret investigations that the Sidonia region in the Martian Northern Hemisphere does in fact have pyramid and other structures that are made out of a composite material which has some kind of a substance not found in our periodic table of elements. Further, that the current whistleblowers tell me that the hieroglyphs and the symbols on the ancient artifacts of Mars match exactly the hieroglyphs and symbols on ancient artifacts and pyramids on the backside and interior of our moon, and that they match exactly the hieroglyphs and symbols on ancient artifacts and pyramids that are under one and a half to two miles of ice in Antarctica, and that the way we have been getting into Antarctica for the last 15 or so years has been through submarine into some part of Antarctica under the water. <laughs>